Which would you rather deal with, a form or a chatbot? Sometimes the answer is yes to both. At BotCopy, we get this. We now offer form components within the BotCopy chat window. Collect info within the conversational flow in an organized way. Our biggest clients use this approach to get more leads at a lower cost per lead. So Matt, I'm hoping we can take a look under the hood and show BotCopy users how to get these form components set up. Yeah, hey Carolina, absolutely. It's really just copy and paste. The way we have these docs set up is that you can just copy and paste this exact thing in your Dialogflow CX or ES. Understood. So why don't you take us through that process real quickly, just so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, so creating one of these response types in Dialogflow ES is super simple. Uh, here, I'll just create an intent, create a training phrase here. We won't be using Google Assistant. We'll just be going over here to the default tab, adding a custom payload, and copying and pasting in the example from our docs. Got it. So in one of those lines, it says message or wall. What's that about? This is meant to indicate there's two different styles of what the form can be. It can either be a wall that takes up the entire chat experience, or it can be a conversational message. So for this case, we'll just go ahead and use it as a message. Save that. We can go over to our bot copy portal where I have a preview and I can type in the training phrase. The example will pop up. Email address is required, phone number is not. If I try to submit it without it, it will say this field is required. So those fields and requirements are just placeholders at this point, right? That's right. And there's a couple of liberties we took with the design choices here, but this is all super easy to change. If we wanted the user to continue down the conversation without filling out the form, we just change this to false. If we wanted the telephone number to be required and not the email, we can um, add it here. And if we even just wanted to ask them their full name, we can add a full field right here with a new label, full name, change the placeholders and all that. So it really is copy and paste and just entering in the values. And whether you've worked with code or not, it seems pretty easy. It is, yeah. So let's go ahead and save that. There we go, brand new. Nice. So this feature is ready to go? Yeah, it's uh, it's live right now. So you can you can use this. Uh, one of our clients, Century 21, they use it to uh, collect uh, information on customers inquiring about buying or selling a home. So here, go ahead and give them my name. They wanted the city or state to be required here. The street address is just icing on top. One, two, three, four, Main Street. And the final step here is asking for some contact information. Okay, so how did you gather this info before? There was a lot of back and forth to get the required uh, information from the user. And we felt that using this form was quicker. It led to better data fidelity. And finally, it's just a, just looks good and, and this is uh, very easy to understand by the user. Right, so it's good at collecting data and then you could send it or store it anywhere, right? Yeah, that's the great thing about Dialogflow for fulfillment is that it's totally flexible. How do you work a form into a conversation in a way that feels natural? Building a good bot conversation is definitely an art. You have to keep your user interested. You have to know when and how to ask for the information. Rob does a great job with that, with the, with the copywriting aspect. Okay, and you mentioned the wall version earlier. When is it best to use that? This would be good for maybe uh, at the very beginning of a conversation or at the very end. And in that case, if you want to force your user to fill that out, uh, we'll see that I'm adding the, the force attribute here to this form. And we'll see that the cancel button is actually no longer there. The only option to escape this is to close the chat or just clear the history and start over. Got it. So what if people who don't normally work with code need a little extra help? Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you are feeling a little intimidated, BotCopy is there to help. <laughs> we'll just send everyone over to you. <laughs> Meanwhile, thanks for explaining. This was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem, Carolina. Uh, talk to you soon. Okay, so there you have it. Visit us at BotCopy today. We'd love to work with you.